Stampers, it's Lisa Marie with Spontaneous Sunday Stampin'. Hello, hello. I'm all alone tonight. Let me see if I can get this up and running and make sure I'm in the right place and I'm facing the right way. And it's looking like I am. It's a miracle. I'll probably tilt that just a little bit. <clears throat> you can see all my junk then. Say hello when you pop on. Let me know you're there. share this. Hello, Kim, and hello, Larry. Hello, hello. Okay, so it's just me tonight. Rebecca and her family are out of town. I'm really jealous because they went to Illinois to see my dad and Chuck's parents and my stepmom. You know, all these, all my, what I was getting at is they went to see my dad and I didn't get to go. So I'm sad. I really think I should have been allowed to go. What do you guys think? I could have sat in the back seat with the baby and they could have focused on the road. Probably would have got there faster if I was in charge. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, I know you guys are probably like tired of seeing pictures of the baby, but I can't help myself. Sorry. She's just so cute and I miss her. Okay. And I'm really hoarse tonight. This is from cutting paper. I just, I don't know what else to do. I refuse to wear a mask because I think they're icky and they make me hot. So I'm just gonna suffer and you're gonna have to hear my crackly voice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's see, the lighting actually looks pretty good tonight. I'm gonna grab some scrap paper and I thought we would play with chucking along. Cause it's gonna be back um, on the 17th or sooner. I, I always say or sooner because you know, you just never know. They could get it, get it ready faster. You know how you always give, you know, a little bit further, than, more time than what you need so that you're covered, right? So, anyway, it's super cute. I'm going to show you. I, already, I, was, I just opened it tonight, and I was doing some little trucks because I was worried. I wanted to make sure that they weren't hard to punch and, you know, all these little pieces, they're not too hard to cut out if I want to cut them out. Like I did a little, I'm going to bring it over here. I did a little thing of flowers we can stick back there. How cute is that? And then I was okay with like, so sometimes I didn't, it's because I was in a hurry. I wasn't being careful. So like the back of the truck is faded, which I'm totally fine with. And then I've seen people have been taking, where are my scissors? Here they are. I have this whole table to myself and I don't know how to behave. All right, let me see who else has popped on. Oh, it's scheduled to arrive Wednesday, yay. Okay, so I've seen some people, they snip it like right down here. And they make a trailer for it. How cool is that? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cut this. Let's see. We can cut the. Actually, I'm not loving this one. So let's cut him. So I think they're cutting it so that they have that line. But then that doesn't quite. All right. I'm gonna try it. See. And then I'm gonna get rid of that. I think I went in a little too far. But see, then they could have a little trailer if they were the same color. I mean, they don't have to be. But my brain says they should be. They got a little trailer. How cute is that? Okay, so I had a couple things. I was gonna play with this. You guys can work with me on colors, but then I saw, I just remember it. I don't remember who did it. I just know it was one of the artisans, I think, um, over on Instagram. It had to be like in a reel or something um, because I can't find it. Um, but she took, let me grab, I had a pretty one here. Where did it go? Isn't that just pretty for a background? It's got fuzz on it. So you know, you've got your sky and you've got your grass. I don't like the size. And then I practiced on this one. I wanted to see how it would look to stamp on them. And essentially what she did was she took a little bit bigger. I'm gonna grab two. I did this one three and three quarters by five. And this size makes all the difference because I wanna be able to like paint a rectangle on here with water. And I didn't fill my water brush. Gosh, doggone it. Let me see if I have some over here. I went to go do it, and instead I grabbed my water. I think I have some here. Okay, that one's got some water in it. Hello, Jane. Oh, both the Janes are here and Laura's here. I know some people hate when we say hello to people, but some people like when we say hello to them. So, I like saying hello to you guys. We've had like this crazy rain. I don't think it rained today that I noticed. We've had like crazy storms like all week. And it's hot outside. It's so hot. 
Okay, I'm adding water. I have the old aqua painter and I'm putting it in the new water painter so that I'm using the new one. So I don't confuse everybody. And I like the brush on this one better. So I'm gonna see how much I can spill all over the place. It's, oh, is it raining in thunder? That means it's probably gonna rain here soon, right? So when you get these, I wanna show you something because intuitively we want to set this on here and turn it to the left clockwise. You gotta turn it counterclockwise too. It's the opposite of what you would think. And I've never been told what the real reason is, but my theory is because when you're using it, I think you end up, I don't know if you ever used something that twists the other way and you know, clockwise and after you use it so many times it starts to loosen. I think this, I, this prevents it because mine never does that. So I think I filled the wrong brush, right? Let's see, we'll use this guy. All right, I had another one. See, I must have walked off with him like and actually literally took him to go fill him because I was using the big fat one. You know, there's one that's really wide. I'll find him when I'm all done, but that's okay. It's been, oh, has it been booming? I'm not even hearing it, Larry. I think maybe I'm just like completely numb to it anymore. We've had so much. So I'm gonna squeeze this out because it looks like there's some paint on here. I'm just gonna clean it off a little bit. And I'm just using a baby wipe because I didn't grab a paper towel either. Well, I went in the bathroom to get a paper towel because that's, we keep paper towels in there for drying your hands and somebody used the last one and didn't fill it. So, so to create this, and this is kind of messy. It's not quite as neat as I would like it to be. We're gonna drop some water in the middle because we know, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna draw with the water because it's gonna hold it all in for me. I can go back and straighten it out because you know, I'm not doing it straight at all. It's not intentional, I'm just not good at it. And then we're gonna fill in just this area. Maybe just straighten it out a little bit more. So I've got it good and wet, like that. And then I'm gonna grab my, I grabbed some garden green. I'm gonna give it a good squeeze on the lid because then it makes a little puddle. And if you get like a really dark puddle, you can go ahead and, um, actually I'm gonna squeeze it a little more. You can add a little bit of water to it. Let's see if I got it better that time. Ah, there we go. My brush is really wet, so it's gonna be okay. And then I'm just holding it over and I'm squeezing it. And I'm adding some color in here, as much or as little as you want. I went back and grabbed some more off the ink pad. Here, I'll set this guy down so I can hold this. Isn't that just cool? The water just moves it and kind of, you don't have all the control and that's okay. And see, I kind of like how the green went up that way a little bit. That's kind of cool. And it's gonna dry. So we're gonna take this back again and we're gonna squeeze it out. I love water painters, aqua painters, water painters, doesn't matter which ones you have, they work the same. When you squeeze it, see, I got totally distracted. I must've taken that brush with me because I went to go get a little cup of water so that I wouldn't have to keep wasting my water. So I'm gonna close that one up. And I think for my sky, I'm gonna use Tahitian Tide because it comes out really pretty. Yeah, oh yes, thank you, Laura. It is watercolor paper, I forgot to say that. No, I did, thank you. It makes a big difference because if you try putting all this water on our regular, our basic white, um, basic white would not handle it well. Our thick white would be a little bit better, but definitely you really want watercolor paper. So I've got my ink pad. I'm just gonna drop a little bit of water in here. But I like that what she, all she did was draw with the water where she wanted it to stay. And so it's pretty much, other than where I've kind of dribbled here and there, see, there it goes. I, so you can also do it, you know, by embossing things, because when, you know, when you use embossing, like embossing a shape and trying to color in, it will, um, you know, hold the colors so that they stay separate. But I'm already hoarse, and so I decided that embossing would be bad. <laughs> so you guys... If you watch me, watch us every Sunday, you probably have heard me talk about it. I have developed an allergy to the dust from cutting paper and also the embossing powder. And that's why I think I'm hoarse, actually, because my card this month for regular card class is embossing because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> probably not the smartest thing. Hey, Jenny. 
And so I just want a little bit darker up here. I'm hoping it'll dry a little bit darker. We can come back because we're going to let this dry just a bit. And we're going to play with the truck while it's drying. There we go. Get all that out of there the best that I can. And then we're going to move him. See, I can even go look at, see when you tilt it, it'll make the dirt go in other places. But we're just going to move it up here. You guys can kind of watch it. I can also grab a paper towel, baby wipe, and grab some of that. Like if I wanted to get rid of some of it, I can pick it up. So I think it's going to be good, though. Oh, look, I think that's a cat hair. It is. It's going to be, like, just decorative. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to grab some white. This is just regular basic white and my truck. What color should we make the truck? And you don't have to say sorry. My goodness, I, I totally forgot to say it. So we can make the truck any color you guys want. You guys tell me, what do you want? Should we make a blue truck, red truck, green truck? Ooh, a green truck. Yellow truck. Oh, I hear it thundering now. Now it's thundering. It's like rolling. It's not like anything major. But I'm thinking like if you can draw a really good circle, I mean, it doesn't even have to be perfect because it'd be very abstract. You could do a circle and do a pretty background and that would be really nice too. All right, if you guys are answering me, I can't see it. Laura says red, like real red or cherry cobbler because I was leaning towards red too. <laughs> this is what the red looks like. So if we do a red one, let's see what cherry cobbler looks like just for fun. Or maybe, um, ooh, puppy parade, sweet sorbet. Sweet sorbet I think is gonna be too pink. I could be wrong. But let's find out, ooh, a rusty red. Well, which color is that, Jane? You're gonna make me make colors. <laughs> um, the copper would be pretty, but it's not in here. It's probably out there on my table. That's that's okay. We're gonna we'll see what we can come up with here. Red. Everybody says red. So it's. I know that the weather is bad because my dog is outside my office, beating on the door, because she's afraid. And now Chuck's yelling at her. So if you hear that, that's what that is. I know it's a nice deep red. All right. So there's. I did him stamped off, so I stamped him over on my scrap paper, and now this is full strength. I need to get my head in the picture, so sorry, but I want to get it lined up, hopefully fairly close. It's not hard to line up, it's just that I used the back end to look. Oh, look at how good that is. <laughs> I used the back end, and I couldn't quite see it with the angle that I was on, so hopefully my head wasn't in your way. Let me see. Do I have... I'm looking for some blends. I think Cajun. I'm gonna look and see. Because we have this guy over here that's kind of, I don't know how that would work. What if we, I mean, it needs to be more muddled. This is my one that I did earlier. Like just to get a little bit darker shades in there so it looks like rust. I'm open to suggestions, but actually this is not so bad. If I get it on there straight. Didn't start out so good, but I think I kind of could do it. I know I love the truck, it's so good. So, so good. There's a punch on my desk here somewhere. So the punch has the truck, the wheels, the window, and the, what are those, fenders? Um, so we're going to punch this. You're just gonna line it up. It lines up pretty easy. So I just look and I kind of would like my white line to be fairly even, but if it's not, it's not going to be perfect. And I am okay with that. There we go. He's so good. I was looking for a blender pen because I would like to Let's see. My blender pens always have white on them. These are my old ones. I was just gonna try to fill it in a little bit because it's a little bit blotchier than I wanted it. 
cherry cobbler with a little Cajun craze around the wheels. I was thinking, see, that's what I was thinking. So, but I wasn't sure if that was really, maybe it needs to be the marker because I think the blend like is doing kind of something funky there. Let me see if I have the marker in here. Probably not. I have crushed curry and I have, I think my whole thing of markers is out. Um, actually it's out in my classroom because my cats were playing with it recently. What other color do I have? Oh, I have pecan. You can use the blender pen with your ink pad. I would see smart people you are. I think that blender pen will work too. Cajun craze. All right, there he is. I think he's kind of an old dried up one. He's not blending great. Let me grab another one. Here. See if it does better. I think someone needs to add blender pens to her next order. That's what I think. You know what I need to do? I need a block. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna use this old wink. Let me see if that would work better. And I think that it will. It was on that one. It's gonna be sparkly. <laughs> it's a cool sparkly truck. Hmm. I like the tip on that though. Let me try one other. I got another one here. See if this works better. I think it will. Though the one with the alcohol definitely is a little bit better. I wonder if Becca's gonna hop on. Do you think she will? Hmm. I'm not very good at this. I'm gonna have to practice this because I've seen a lot of people do some rust. And I'm being too particular, like too precise. I know what's happening. I'll put some down here. I will figure it out though. I don't know, that looks way better than that does. <laughs> and you like the um, white ink all over my hand. So blender pens go on my next order. That's really cute. Oops. All right, this guy is drying nicely. We're gonna pull him over here though and get rid of some of this. Otherwise, he's going to be here drying all night. And now we can flick the dog hair out. Or cat hair, whoever it was. And get that guy to dry. Because I think he's going to look cool on here with some trees. It's going to be very cute. I have like all the colors out now. Wipe these guys off. You know, red is the one that stains the most. So I try to clean it off as soon as possible. And that will help. Staining doesn't hurt it. It's just sometimes the red can get on there if you do like, like if I did like a hundred things, you know, in red, it would, um, I think it looks, aw, thanks. Thank you, Laura. Um, the red can sometimes make it hard to see through it after you've done like a whole bunch. And I think these are so that you can look at, this is my practice one over here. So you can fill it in and make the tires black. How cute is that? Now, if there's a black ink pad in here, we can do that. Because I just saw them all out in my classroom. Oh, wait, here's one. I own a lot of them, so you would think we're gonna move him. We're gonna practice because I don't wanna I don't wanna mess it up. So it would go. We're gonna use this guy as my template here. It's gonna go. I better go back this way. Do do do. Subtle was all I really wanted. All right, so there's those guys. I did hear to be careful about getting ink on this middle part. Because, you know, if you squish too hard, that will happen. Let's see if I like it. Oh, we do. We do. And we're going to go for it on this one. I 
just makes it pop. Look at that. It's not like I want to do this guy too because he's really cute, this blue one. Ta-da! And it's not even perfect and that's good because tires, especially if we're doing an old truck, they're like all worn and probably need new ones. All right, so that's good. We're going to set them aside. I'm not, oh, we're just going to clean that off before I stick something in it. So you can always create a palette on your block and then you won't get as much water in your um, ink pad. What do we got on the other side? Scribble, scribble. All right, so we're going to grab this guy. He's almost dry. I think he's dry enough. Oh, there are clouds in this set. What did I do with it? Where did it go? Oh, you guys, what did I do with it? Oh, I walked all the way over there with it. Silly. Let me see, there's clouds in here. I think we should add some clouds up in the sky. And it's a little two-step stampin' deal, so we do our cloud. I'm kind of thinking, oh, some, geez, I won't want to use any other stamps. <laughs> it's so good. You guys, it covers everything. I mean, you've got sunflowers. And you've got like just these potted plants and you've got palm trees with a surfboard and a beach ball or a life preserver. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, there's the Christmas or birthday presents, either one. Trees for Christmas, farm fresh. Every day is a fresh start. Wishing you a festive Christmas. And then, oh, the rails for the truck. I forgot about those. They're there too. So I'm going to take some blueberry bushel and I'm going to stamp it off. And stamp it again because I want to see how dark it is. Oh, we're going to stamp it like three times. Oops, missed a spot. One, two, and then we'll go there because I didn't want it super dark. Because I didn't think that would be good. It's a very um, straight cloud, the edges. All right, let's grab this guy. I'm glad you were able to get it, Jane, because I know everybody, there was, you know, people were waiting and trying, and it was so super popular. I mean, we knew it would be. I don't know why they didn't ask us what we thought. Add another one. Some cute little clouds. All right. It's so weird being here by myself because it's like I'm talking to myself <laughs> and it's a little bit weird. All right, let's go in here and grab these trees. They're little two-step stampin' trees. They're so cute. So, so cute. So we're going to stamp the tree. This one is going to be full strength. And I want to keep everything, I think. My, my clouds are so crooked. Sorry. Don't know what happened. I got a little excited there. I made them very crooked. <laughs> but that's okay. This is our first time. That's what makes it spontaneous. Stamp that off. And then if you watch the three arms of the tree there. I'm stamping it off. That's what I'm using as my guide to get it straight. And they come out so good. Ah, love it. I'm putting everything away as I go because otherwise these little guys are the ones that I lose every single time. They just get a mind of their own and they end up stuck to something I did see somebody does, um, you know, those acrylic picture frames. I actually used them. Oh, I have some. Um, the acrylic picture frames from the Dollar Tree. And they set one on their desk and they stick all their loose stamps up there on it so that it's not, um, so they're not getting lost, which I thought was brilliant. All right, we did these guys too. Let's put them away too while we're here. All right, and then I have these little road pieces right here and I think some gray granite is what I was using you guys are so quiet I think 
that's what I want to do, but I'm not sure because I kind of like, so then my truck can be like that. Trucking along on the road. <laughs> there was just a big old thunderclap. Next time I think I would leave the clouds off. So much to, I know it's a lot, right? There's just so much and it's all so good. So like, I'm not gonna use these, but I'm just showing you, see how cute that is? I wanna find, I think something a little bit brighter. So I was actually leaning toward these sunflowers are calling my name. They are, there's one that's too small. Now we just gotta decide on the color. So we're gonna stamp, this guy is the outline. We might have to practice this on some scrap paper and see what it looks like. The better to hear the thunder. <laughs> You're doing great, Sarah. I just showed everyone how we're using the truck set and how I created the background with um, using watercolor paper and just taking the water and drawing out my rectangle. I used a little bit bigger piece here um, and creating my background by dropping ink on there. Super fun. All right, what colors should we make these flowers? I'm thinking there should be some daffodil and some oh, crushed curry probably. And some old olive. I'm wondering if I can pull green. I want to see. I know it's so good. I want to see what this will look like. And then these guys. So when you're not sure how something goes, Simply lay it on top so you can get an idea. This might, this might work. Oh, they're kind of cute. They're a little crooked, but they're cute. See? So I got the green in there, and I kind of like that. Oops, green. I almost stamped the wrong one. I'm going to stamp a couple of them so I can make sure I have practice to get them right. I know I could stamp it, but then it would be, like, flat. So I'm not sure I want to do that. It's weird because I hear the thunder at my house and then it booms on my earphones here. <laughs> it's a little crazy, huh? So I'm lining up the two center flowers. Oops, that one was a little crooked as my hand shook. I got really close though. So the center pieces on those two middle flowers, the two that are open widest, I'm going, oh, that one was way off. <laughs> And this is why we practice. I see what I did now. This one might be the one. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. And then I'm going to cut it out. And I'm leaving some on the bottom because I want to be able to tuck it in the truck there. And if this doesn't look good, then we'll stamp it right onto the card. We'll see how it goes. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this set. And Susan, I'm so glad you were able to get one too. I know everybody was trying and, um, and then if you are wanting me to keep an eye out for it and order it for you when I see it, you need to send me a message and I will do that for you. I have a little list going. I have someone that wants the, um, the So Very Merry. That one's really pretty too. Almost done. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it's so stinking cute. Yeah, we're not, we're not stamping that on the paper. It's perfect. I do think it needs just a wee bit of green in there. Let me grab one. I have all these pins on the floor. I wanted the light. broken one right I didn't want my leaves to be white oh they're so good stems cute and I had that wink up here earlier where did I throw him I do not know I have like this huge stack of ink pads from trying to make up my mind. And I lost my 
week. Oh, he rolled underneath. Ooh, glad I cleaned it. It had Cajun craze on it. Though it would have been pretty in the centers, right? I just wanted my flowers to have a sparkle. There we go. All right, so then that. So see how I left that little bit because then my truck and my flowers can even hang out. And there are those little rails, which are super cute right here. I mean, I'm not cutting them out. <laughs> I'm gonna use some new in color for the red dirt road. Oh, cute. The new in color, like the copper clay. Is that what you're thinking? Because I think that will be lovely. All right, and we had a red truck. Here he is. I'm kind of liking it on the blue truck too. Ooh, but that's pretty. All right, we need some glue dot to stick that down. <clears throat> I'm just gonna grab these guys. Slide that in there. I guess I could paint back like that. He's got a truckload of sunflowers. <laughs> yeah, I love copper clay. It's so pretty. Oh, wait, where did he go? Here he is. I was like, what did I do to him? But it's because I used a scrap piece. I hate my clouds. Hate them. Let's see if we can make this guy work. I'm just going to have to trim it so we can... I'm just gonna trim him just a wee bit. What kind of card base should we use? Because I don't like that it's not even. Let's see if we can make this work. It'll be a long skinny one. I don't know if I like that either, but we'll find out here in a second. So we have this guy on here. Put everybody away because I was trying to be responsible and I gotta get them back out but I'm hating the clouds because they're crooked hate is a very strong word but I really don't like them okay we'll leave that like that I want to do those trees again because I really like them anyway. So they're fun to stamp because they were really easy, which is very nice. Use white for the clouds. Use white. Use white. White ink? Is that what you mean? I hate the delay. Like, I feel like we should just be able to have a conversation, you know? delay is so annoying. This just makes, just gives it a little shading depending on how dark your watercoloring is. Like this one, it came out darker and that's okay. Cute. See, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Bring it like that. I think there is, yep, there's some grass in here too. It has like all the things, like everything you could think of. I feel like this tree needed some grass just in case we can see them. Yeah, that'll work. Because otherwise it was looking a little bit creepy, that tree was. We'll do it on this one. And I'm just stamping it off. So like in between. It's making me think of Charlie Brown right now, his little shirt. <laughs> That's 
that's much better. Jane, Jane, Jane. I think you're right. Using the white ink. I think that's what you're saying. Let me see if I have any. I think Rebecca and I just had this problem. Oh, wait, let's see. I have a really old one. So let's do ink him and see. I'm just going to put some ink in here. Those clouds aren't very big, so we don't have to fill the whole pad. We just want to get some color in there. And I'm going to grab this guy. It's going to be really cute when we're done. Let's see what we got. I already don't like this one, so I'm going to stamp it over here. Oh, Jane, you're so smart. I'm going to put a little more ink in there. That was Jane Bickle. The two Janes always have good ideas. Okay, many of you do, but it would, I mean, the Janes. All right, are you ready? Oh, it's very light, barely there, which I like. my blender pen because I just want it a little bit darker at least around the edges and this is my blender pen that I always use with my white for doing these Doo -doo. I think it's gonna look really cool when it dries. Yes, tap it in. <laughs> I love when we all come up with things. I think it looks cool. Should it be more? What do you guys think? I mean, it is very subtle, but I don't think that that's a bad thing. And then I'm like, oh, does it need more? Because then I'm like, I could have just drawn them in. <laughs> see, it's hard when there's not somebody else here. I can't, keep, I can't color and see who's commenting. Do you think these clouds should be sparkly? <laughs> Whenever I get done, the first thing Chuck notices when he looks at the cards that we made, he's like... Used a little wink, huh? I'm like, I can't help myself. Does it need more clouds? I mean, should I do two more? Like, bloop, bloop, or bloop, bloop. <laughs> I know. He's like, he's like, why do you do that? I'm like, because it's good. He's like, I don't think you need that much. And I just tell him he is very wrong. He knows nothing. All right, I'm sticking my stamps back in here again so I don't lose them. Because, like, I don't know what I did with the chair. Oh, there he is. He was stuck on top of one of the others. Yes, wink. See? I love you, Heidi. I love your brain the way it thinks. And the wink actually will drag that white a little bit and fill it in. I had forgotten that it would do that. Oh! Look at that. Ha! I know, they're perfect, aren't they? Such teamwork. <laughs> I need some dimensionals. Dimensionals. We're just going to have to open a new one because I don't know where they're at. We're going to dimensional this guy, though. I mean, like, you guys knew that, right? And I don't want him to sit all wonky, so we're going to use a few. 
because I'm okay with it. Oops, get on there. All right, we're gonna put you, I think. Oh, he's so cute. All right, so now what are we gonna do? We gotta put him on something. I do have a piece of that that just happens to be sitting up here. We can put it on blue. We can put it on white. Well, I won't know. We won't put it on white. You could also use the little springy things to make the clouds a wobble, to make the truck a wobbler so he could bounce down the road. That's brilliant. Next time, because I don't think I have any. <clears throat> I need to order some more. Because when we use them, we use them. I'm not seeing any. I think they're on my Amazon list, though, of things to get. Let's disconnect with my computer. My computer's old, so it has to stay plugged in all the time. Or it doesn't have any light. <laughs> and it's in one more spot. Sometimes I put them over here. But that's a really good idea. I like it. All right, so we need card base. Oh, that um, what color did we do? Crushed curry. That's pretty. It's actually, do you like it on there? Or throw some ideas out at me because I'm game. Um, don't ask for garden green. It's not here. There's none. I think I just ordered it. Oh, but I do have a card base, so we would be okay this is a wonky size to top it off. Maybe we should make the card bigger. I liked the crushed curry layered on. I did too. I'm really thinking about going that way because I really liked it. I like the green, but I really liked this. And I think just a little baby border. Like so. And I really think we might make the card a little bit bigger. Like make it odd. What is that? Um... Memories and more makes a bigger size. I kind of feel like it'll work better there. <clears throat> do I have a catalog? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't because I can't remember the size. I'm going to go look because it's going to bother me. And I want to know the size. Um, they, I think they're like four by six. That's what, isn't that the size of the card or is that the size of the, um, the layering pieces, the loose cards? I'm looking, 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 looking. I just went online because that was the easiest way since I don't have my book in here. They are, I'm going to move this guy. You're in my way. Split view, right split. Here we go. They are folded card is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So eight and a half. Oh, that won't work. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Eight and a half, right? Somebody do the math. So it needs to go eight and a half. If this is already eight and a half, so I need to cut this here. I think that's right. I think. Oops, I have the arm open. I think, I think, I think. That's six and a quarter, probably there. We're gonna find out if that works. I think it will. I just need it to be a wee bit taller. Oh, that's so much better. I'm already math. I know. There, see? I think that's the loose cards, but the actual note cards, the cards that is what I was looking for, they're six and a quarter by four and a quarter folded. So that's where the math was coming in. <laughs> and I think we just want a sliver, right? And this is some weird size, I'm sure, because I was just cutting it to make it. So we're going to do like three and a half. And we can always cut it down if I don't like it. Three and a half by five and a quarter. I'm probably going to want it smaller. But it's better to start off a little bit bigger than what you think. Because you can always trim it down and then you haven't wasted anything. Uh, what did I say? Three and a half? I think so. 
I'm actually, that's actually going to be good. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. Let's get you guys all this mess out of here. How cute. Do we love it? Because I do. Do we need to do anything else before I start gluing? I just like in the past six months learned how to use my split screen on my iPad. I didn't know how to do it. I would do it by accident all the time and then I would accidentally fix it. I know I'm a bonehead, but I had no idea how I was doing it. And then I watched a YouTube and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm just going to confess. I'm going to dimensional this guy because he's curly still because I think he's a little bit wet still. And I'm going to use a million dimensionals because I don't want him to curl back up. And because I know it gives some people anxiety. Boop. Look at that. We can't not go like that. Do you think I have enough? Oh, twine. Where would you put it? <gasps> Katie Blanson, where have you been? Where should we put it? Should we just do a little twine double bow? Should we wrap twine? Oh my goodness, there's all these choices. All right, let me think. There should be a spool nearby. Should be. I might have taken it out to my classroom, but I always have a new one somewhere. <clears throat> oh, here's one. This is like dimensionals. They're everywhere. I, I knew what you meant. Linen thread, yeah. I'm kind of like, oh, I could just do along the left side. I did think that, so like going this way, so that it goes across it or just to there. Hmm. I'm still going to dimensional this little booger on here. Jane Marshall, are you freaking out over all of my dimensionals? Katie, I hope you're enjoying your summer. Katie is one of my teacher friends and she's a team member too. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Never use exactly. See, let's wrap this guy around here a couple of times. Let's see if we like it. I have a couple of thoughts running through my head, so hang on. Do we let it run like that and do a little bow at the top or bottom? Hmm. Or do we push it all to the side? You usually do make a lot of cards in the summer. I like that too. I could do a little bow up at the top. All right, bow at the top on the side here. No, 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 you go ahead. <laughs> or should I bloop, bloop, bloop so that it runs across the background and then do a little bow? Left side or all over? That's what I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna grab a piece of white while we're thinking about that to put on the inside because that's, Four by six, right? What do we got left? Too small. I want to do. I want to do. I want to do. I want to do this guy. Is that exactly that? That's. I think I want to oh, like that. I need a piece of white. I keep grabbing thick white. That's not what I want. And piece of this. So I'm going to go five and three quarters by three and three quarters. Left side. Okay. I shall do as you say. The people have spoken. I didn't expect the glue to come out, so I was like over squeezing. I just feel like this one needed to have a special inside. Maybe we'll snap a tree in there. I am happy with this much here, so I'm gonna leave that. My hands are full of every color that we've used. These guys, somebody's loose. Pull, pull, pull. So 
So we're doing um, our paper hugs. I've been cutting it. You know, Rebecca, let me just talk about Rebecca for a moment. Oh, a bow higher in the sky area. That's an idea too. Um, she went on vacation and left me with all the work. I had paper hugs. And I'll, she will be back in time for jingle hugs. But I mean, the work has to get done, right? She left me. She doesn't even have her order arriving on time. It'll be here tomorrow. I could have had it like all ready to go. Crazy child of mine. My fingers have glue on them, so that's why I'm struggling. <laughs> and I wanna tie this in a knot because I don't wanna chase after all these little layers. Oh, I have tweezers. I want that right there. I know, bad girl. And she's gonna use that baby as an excuse. <laughs> Blaming the baby. All right, so we need to cut this guy. It's too long, get out of there. I'm sure I left way too much, but here's what I wanted to do. I don't like when it's loose like this, so we're gonna just let this guy hold it. I don't like when the little dealy bobs don't get held. All the thread. I like for it to pinch where I'm tying and then these guys can move around and then I can go like this. I actually think I could double bow it if I really wanted to. I feel like all of a sudden it's taking me forever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chit chatting and we're gonna get this guy on here flat. And this is crushed curry and pecan pie. And they look lovely together. Oh, I like it. And I like that they're a little loose right there. How cute is that? Ah, I'm so excited. I was nervous doing this by myself with something I'd never played with. Cause I don't do that that often, though I need to be. Do we love it? Does it need words? I mean, we could do, oh, oh, the farm fresh is pretty cute. I think that fits on the door. Too late, there's too many dimensionals under there. I think we're gonna leave it alone. Sending you sunny thoughts could be cute. I know it's really cute. We could put it there. Let's see what that would look like. So when I'm not sure when, how something will look, I'll just like stamp it on scrap paper and lay it because I mean, we really could stamp it right there in black. What do you guys think? I kind of like it there. And it's cause it's just so skinny and petite looking. Those colors would make a great fall card, add a few colors in the trees and done. I, I was thinking that too, Jane, like, I was like, ooh, these trees could use a little bit of something, something, but I didn't want to, I wanted to leave them nice and green. Let's see what this guy looks like. Do I have a piece? I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, I didn't want to cut that. It's a piece of white. I was just gonna stamp it right on pecan but I want to test it first to make sure it's not my ink pad is good yeah so we're gonna go like that oh it just looks so good I'm very happy does it need bling we have those beautiful oh I don't have them in here um Let's see, those are too much, too much. Might not have anything in here that'll go. I used them for paper hugs this month. Um, oh, there they are. These guys could work. I think I'm gonna leave it alone though. No changing colors. It's a Florida fall card, exactly. Let's not rush fall, actually Jane, um, Marshall, I would be okay with fall right about now. I'm okay with it. 
because I don't like being hot. I am done with the humidity and all the things. And how stinking good is that? I'm very pleased. Thank you for your help, guys. That's a craft fair card. <laughs> oh, good, Jane. You can do it. Copy it and make it. Oh, oh, look what I did. We were doing so well. Darn it all. I was, I'm not going to try to make it pretty now inside. I have a little sanding block. I'll go out there and try. I don't have one in here. I can't believe I did that. Can you guys believe I did? I believe it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. That's okay. The person I send it to won't care. It just won't look good in photography. <laughs> okay, you guys. Thanks a bunch for hanging out with me tonight and keeping me company. Also, um, don't forget that it's bonus days and the new clearance rack is up. If you want to go on the wait list with me um, for the truck or the So Very Merry or what's the other one called? Charming, Timeless Charm. Um, because those are all coming back. They'll be back soon. I know. Where would I put it, Jane? I couldn't decide. And which bling? Like, I think... I don't have any more. I think I used them all. There's um, the in color, the in color um, enamel. Look at they look like these guys, but they're not tinselly, and they're like they have like the browns and the blues. I think those would be really good. It's like I didn't want. I don't know what I want. I'm not finding what I want, what I really really want. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm just glad you guys hopped on with me. I have butterflies. I mean, that's like, I don't have nothing else. I used up all the really good stuff recently. And so I have to get more. Um, I'll, I'll think of something to stick on there. I don't know what. I might just leave it alone. But if you want me to be on the lookout to order those for you when I see them pop up, I'm happy to do it. Just let me know. And you guys, thanks so much again. And I'll see you again next week. Bye.